the same window just different ways to get to it user profile cleaning and maintenance to clean up your profile in Windows XP and Windows 7 you need to delete the temporary internet files and the temp files this is useful to do every month or so especially before any profile backup the profile cleaning depends on how much a user uses its computer to delete temporary internet files you need to go to control panel internet settings and there under the general tab you press the delete button in the middle of the window let me show you how so we're gonna use Internet Explorer go to tools internet options general tab it's already the default tab and this is the delete temporary files history cookies saved password and and web form information click on delete and here you can select with check marks what do you want to have deleted temporary internet files it's always a good thing to delete cookies you can keep in history in case you want to retrace your step back to an important website that you cannot seem to find anymore to delete the temporary files from your user profile you have to go in windows xp you have to go to c colon backslash documents and settings your user profile name in our case would be user local settings temp there you can delete the files that you need in windows 7 you have to go to c colon backslash user your username app data local temp let's copy and paste this location into our run command and we have to change your username with our user name in this situation we're gonna press the Windows key plus R key and we're gonna go here which is already pre-populated for us app data local these are our temporary files these are setup files that were used for programs to install and um, data files that were used temporarily for different programs you just select all of them and delete them sometimes these files are locked and not all of them will get deleted as you can see here the action cannot be completed because the folder or file it is open in another program so running programs or applications lock these files so we're just gonna skip those we're gonna do this for all current items 7 found disk cleanup to clean your user profile you can use disk cleanup to clean up your user profile automatically however it is indicated that you use the manual tools as well or the manual method as well so we're gonna click on start and I'm gonna show you how to search in Windows 7 is much more easy we're just gonna type in disk cleanup let's try just disk there we go we have disk cleanup we're gonna click it it's gonna run for us so disk cleanup has started up this is the application right here and this is just a picture in the book and you can select which type of files you want to have deleted if you want to clean up the system files which include some restore points which we're going to learn about later on in this book you can click on this button and we're going to get to the advanced view so we have the more options tab and you can free more disk space by removing programs that you don't use these are programs installed by us and it's highly unlikely we don't use unless your computer comes from a manufacturer and they always load up your computer with all kinds of nonsensical software that you might want to clean up the system restore and shadow copies you can clean those up system restore creates restore points for your computer to return to settings of a previous date you might want to keep those and shadow copies refer to the same document but different versions over different spans of time so for example let's say you have a resume that you've been working on it for the last week and you have shadow copies enabled every save that you made it's saved within a different copy of that file so you can revert settings or undo changes and modifications 